I am so late with this, and I'm going to go ahead right off the bat and admit that we're in fall of 2020, and I'm doing <laughs> a, a breakdown of pair from last year. And uh, I think I'm going to end up doing more of this. I held back before I, I wanted to do them as they were and when they were available. But with the popularity of Doc Martens, there's so many that are resold that we can rediscover. So just because it's not currently available on DocMartens.com or being sold in your by your trusted source doesn't mean you can't find them. So I'm going to talk about these. The Natamica. Natamica? Yes, the Natamica. <laughs> I always get confused with that name, Natamica. Um, collaboration that, that, that was done with Doc Martens. So this one in particular is the black with the abandoned leather, which is absolutely gorgeous. It brings this, it, they do this loafer type style, which is so unique. I love that they just didn't do a 1461 with this. Another great uh, highlight to this shoe is the white stitching on the welt as well as one of my favorites, the ripple sole. I absolutely love these. They came with white and black laces and unlike most Doc Martin shoes, uh, they actually have a pull tab, which is pretty neat. I, I see this done more with collabs that they'll put a pull tab even on, on shoes, which is not necessary, not really necessary uh, on shoes. That's why we see it more on boot, but it kind of looks cool. And I think it gives that piece of Doc Martin DNA that we may lose because of the styling being something represented by the, uh, whatever company that they're collaborating with. And in this case, doing the Natamica. Please correct me on the pronunciation of that. I did look, look it up and it's Nanamika. Nanamika. No? Actually, I don't remember which is which. Okay. Anyways, so this is, as it says here, the Camberwind, uh, Cam Camberwell Black. Okay. And this black is black. So, <laughs> no, it sounded funny, but there was a Ripple Church that was done around the same time. And the Ripple Church, if you really look at it, it was done with CF Steed leather and it kind of had this brownish tint. And it was hard to tell unless you actually had them in your hands. I have videos on Ripples that you can go back to and check out, but I, I didn't include this one. I don't think I had it at the time of that video. So even though this, is, this shoe is not new to me, I've had it for a little bit, it's still uh, pretty new. So, Nanamika, Nanamika, whatever way we can pronounce it, no disrespect, of course, uh, uh, with abandoned leather in this loafer style, ripple soles, awesome silver eyelets, and if you can find them, uh, they were part of the Made in England collection as well, so they did come as a premium. They were a limited release. They, they came in this beautiful blue made in England style box, which is really nice, as well as a shoe, shoe bag. And like I said before, black and white laces, which I don't know, I kind of have fun with it. I think I have a black one on one shoe and a white one on the other. I usually play around with that for a little while and then maybe go to one specific color. So. Uh, yeah, look out for these in the resale, maybe uh, on eBay or, or, or coming up. Uh, I think, I think uh, another good source uh, to look for is more of those uh, high-end, like shoe high-end uh, sellers. The, those are pretty cool, and you can kind of get info about this by looking up on uh, the hypebeast.com. It's a great, great resource for these collaborations with um, designers from abroad. And uh, yeah, that's it. If you liked the video you just saw or wanted to add something to it, go ahead and uh, click on the like and the comment button uh, down below. Also, if you wanted to keep up with all the videos that I create, subscribe. And then once you subscribe, you can tap on the bell and then you'll receive an email. 
uh, so you're always kind of in the know. I mean, you watched it, right? So I guess you liked it. You got to tell the, you know, algorithms what to show other people and what people are interested in. And besides that, I need validation. I need to know that I'm making something that people actually enjoy and want me to continue making more of, right? What do you think, Cherry? Yeah? Think they should do it?